Welcome back to my channel. This is Chris for Chris India and Chris Diaries 07. Today is the 7th of June. The time is 12:20 uh, a.m. and I will be leaving for my road trip. My first stop is Jaipur. Second stop will be uh, Manali. The third stop I will reveal in episode two. Uh, right now I am at uh, Bandra Reclamation, so I will be shooting a few um, kilometers along the way. The next uh, part where I'll shoot is when I cross the Daisa Toll Naka and as and when uh, anything interesting, I'll, I will shoot along the way. I will also um, show you what instruments and what cameras I will be using for my uh, road trip as of now. So guys, uh, this is my dash cam. You can see it's already recording. There, two minutes. And this will be the action camera which I'll be using to shoot along the way. So as I said, uh, my first stop will be, or rather the first uh, part where I will keep an update is when I cross the Daisar Tolnaka. So this is the Bandra Reclamation flyover and uh, just started moving. Traffic seems to be minimal, thankfully. And temperature, outside temperature is uh, 26 degrees. So let's see. I'm going to be driving as much as I can. Right now, GPS is telling me that it's almost 20 hours from uh, Mumbai to Jaipur. I will be uh, not crossing a speed of around 70 to 80 kilometers per hour in the night. In the daytime, I will probably uh, be doing around 85 uh, to 100 kilometers per hour. So, goodbye to Bandra. And uh, fingers crossed, let's see how this trip goes. I will be updating uh, timestamps and locations along the way. So let's play it as it goes. I will be approaching the famous uh, Fountain Hotel, which is around uh, three, km uh, three kilometers away from uh, the Daisar Tolnaka. Pretty pitch, uh, pitch black roads, difficult to see, so I'm really not uh, crossing excessive speed limits. I'm around 55 to 70 kilometers per hour, nothing more than that. And uh, just taking the road as it comes, man. See again here, this is a total pitch black road, so I'm using the excessive fog lights now. So time check, it's uh, 1.34 a.m. 7th of June and I've just reached the Virar Cheknaka. Doing decent speed, there's a lot of heavy traffic on the road, erratic uh, traffic, truck traffic and uh, it's not, uh, these big trucks are not giving way to smaller vehicles. So it's a difficult uh, experience to drive maneuvering between uh, these heavy trucks on both sides. They're literally blocking all lanes of the highway. So, you know, keeping a constant speed of around 70, 80 is also difficult. So I think my average speed would be around uh, 40 to 45 on the higher side. Well, still a long way to go. Vadodara uh, is around uh, 375 kilometers from here. So let's see this traffic eases up. So I needed to put the halogen lights on because the roads are pitch black. It's impossible to see. Also, uh, le the lights of uh, onward traffic coming towards uh, me is uh, pretty di pretty disturbing in the eyes. There are no trees or barriers uh, between the do uh, between the two sides of the road. So oncoming traffic uh, with the high beam really uh, causes stress to the eyes, which also makes you uh, tire out faster and uh, increases the fatigue. So these halogens are kind of a bit easier to drive with. Uh, they are yellow light halogens, so they will cut through fog. Timestamp 2.36 AM, Maharashtra check post, Mumbai, Gujarat. So I will be officially entering Gujarat once I cross this barrier. Welcome myself to Gujarat. Okay. 
Cash in the back, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm back. So now it's 4 12 a.m. and uh, I am 54 kilometers before Surat. So I think once I reach Surat, I'm going to take a break of around 15-20 um, minutes. Uh, kind of sleepy right now. This is the toughest time just before daybreak, uh, when the night is the darkest and you tend to feel sleepy. So I'm just waiting for Surat another 55 kilometers, and uh, I'll take a break there. So it's 5:23 a.m., 7th of June. It's about to uh, daybreak. It's uh, almost dawn. Probably in another 20 minutes, the sky will brighten up a bit more. We'll uh, probably shoot the sunrise as well, as in when it happens. Uh, total number, total number of kilometers done is uh, 292 kilometers. I had made a quite a, uh, made quite a few stops in the middle for chai and uh, refreshments. I was feeling a bit sleepy because uh, it was difficult driving, too much of heavy traffic and uh, erratic driving. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I was Outside temperature is 22 degrees. Yeah. Earlier while driving, uh, early in the morning, the temperature went low to almost as low as uh, 18 and a half or 19 degrees. Back then, probably even the AC was on. Right now it's 22 degrees. And uh, it's a bit easier now that the, it's uh, broken daylight, easier to drive, natural light. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Yeah. Back, I'll be swinging on till it hits on the no caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait that soft fat, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm The car seems to be giving me a good average I've done 351 kilometers, almost 352 kilometers and uh, I'm all, I have used a quarter tank Not even half tank So I think uh, at this rate I should be able to do around 800 kilometers before I tank up once again so guys this is the narmada bridge you can be cautious i'm a go cause something can't stop this i'm a steal everybody's name call it shoplift sick of hearing everyone complain when they thought this taste the pain it's like candy canes it makes me go change into a better frame into a better name society's insane we are so guys this is the vadodara halal uh, halal road uh, from the main highway NH48 you need to take a right underneath the bridge here you will come to this road so basically this is bypassing uh, yeah, basically this is bypassing the uh, Ahmedabad uh, stretch so hopefully there will be less traffic uh, on this road it's 8.40 am I stopped on the Halal Vadodara bypass road uh, I was feeling very sleepy and uh, I got at least another 10 and a half, 11 hours uh, left for Jaipur. So there's this hotel or other restaurant, Sarvotam. I would suggest uh, it's good only for eating. The tea doesn't taste really nice, nor is it refreshing. So I had around 15 minutes to 20 minutes of good sleep, uh, freshened up. And I think I'm ready to go for the next uh, at least two, two and a half hours without a break driving the cars also had a good break so here we go so the time is Continue on 12 pm and the temperature outside temperature is 44.9 degrees as good as 45 degrees extremely extremely hot
crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you better go live it up, cash in the bag See I'm tired, baby I'm bad The only thing good about this part is that um, I'm driving through the Aravli ranges So there is some picturesque uh, beauty And uh, small towns or villages, whatever you like to call it Simple people around Probably I might be even lucky to get my hands on some uh, lovely tasty Daba food It was around 1.15 in the afternoon and I've just hit the road for Udaipur Roughly around 126-127 uh, kilometers from here It seems to be open road, Google Maps is uh, According to Google Maps it's showing all blue So I guess the roads are good no traffic uh, so 120 kilometers uh, at the rate I'm going I think I should be completing it in maybe 2 hours 2 hours 10 minutes and at least uh, once I reach Udaipur I can probably take a stop for some time because I have not stopped I may not eat because I still have to go all the way to Jaipur so the thing is if I eat I'm gonna feel uh, drowsy and it's gonna be difficult to drive so let's hope to get to Udaipur as soon as possible and uh, probably have some uh, soft drink or some beverage or maybe even just an ice cream considering that the weather, the temperature is around 43 degrees uh, outside. Just enjoy the beautiful scenery up ahead. The Aravalis are one of the oldest mountain ranges in India. As of now, my drive update is. Uh, Last night 12 a.m. till today 12 noon 12 hours 13 14 15 so 15 hours into this drive and still on running just look at the landscape isn't it not awesome you yeah, know this is what makes it worth it taking all the effort to drive solo get to see this kind of scenery while you drive even though you're stressed out, tired, sleepy the scenery still makes it worth it another thing is the roads are extremely good ever since I've entered uh, Rajasthan the roads are extremely good and smooth compared to uh, normal Indian standard of uh, roads that we are used to these roads are pretty good lucky people you in Rajasthan Seven. 
looks like another, another Tata Safari fanboy is out. The white one there in front of the uh, silver color duster. It's a MP car. This guy's driven from Madhya Pradesh. Happy to see my generation Safari on the road. It's 6.40 p.m. I was sleeping. I was pretty tired actually. I was feeling very drowsy and sleepy. And um, I just realized like there's around 5 hours, uh, 15 minutes left for me to reach the hotel. So GPS has estimated arrival time is 11.57 p.m. So I'm trying to make it as soon as possible. Uh, with maybe maximum one stop. I finished filling up diesel. After around uh, 869 kilometers, my car had gone into a uh, reserve, which is the red mark. So, I'm not going to shoot much. I'll directly probably shoot at the hotel. So, right now, uh, I'm just going to be driving and trying to cover up as much as uh, distance and speed I can. Absolutely no roads. I can't even say the roads are bad. There are no roads. This patch is still good. The patch behind, which I missed a recording, was far more worse. I don't understand, like, uh, two major cities connecting roads between Jaipur and Udaipur. The condition of the roads is pretty bad. Another example of the roads between Udaipur and Jaipur. Actually, lack of roads. The last bit of uh, last stretch to Jaipur has been really tiring and uh, draining. A lot of diversions. I can't even say the roads are bad, there are no roads in some places and uh, two-way traffic just makes everything uh, that much more difficult. I got another 3 hours 57 minutes left to the hotel. I don't know how that's gonna go but gotta do it. Okay, so uh, yesterday when I reached Jaipur, it was uh, almost 2 a.m. The hotel that I had chosen initially to uh, stay did not have adequate uh, car parking space and I did not want to park the car on the road because I have a lot of stuff inside the car equipment and everything so I did not find that a safe place to park so uh, I came to another place uh, by the time I you know narrowed down on hotels or something it was almost 3 am so I slept pretty late I've uh, not edited anything so this is uh, the video the next morning which is um, 8th of June and uh, I will give you all a, a look of my room of where I'm staying it's indeed a good place a simple place but it's a nice clean place safe place as well it's the tourism department uh, of uh, Jaipur it's uh, their uh, place it's like a government guest house and it's open to people uh, of all ages and groups so even family so if at any point of time you are in Jaipur and uh, you want a safe place to stay with car parking you can come to uh, Hotel Tej it's managed by the RTDC which is the Rajasthan Tourism Development Committee uh, which is also part of the Travel and Tourism Department of the state of Rajasthan so the rates are uh, between 1400 uh, plus taxes to up to 2500 for a family room so you could have a look at uh, this place if you come here to stay now i'll just give you a small uh, look of my room and uh, you can see how it is so this is our ac room 
the TV is also provided. I've not checked. Obviously, I reached. Uh, you are at three fifteen in the morning. I just dumped my luggage and uh, went off to sleep. Show you the washroom. Probably this is a cupboard. I guess where you keep your clothes and all. Uh, yeah. It's a minimalistic room, but clean and. Uh, it's a safe place for tourists. A traditional art painting. Yeah, that's about it. So I hope you like my uh, videos, video of uh, day one, episode one of Mumbai to Jaipur. Uh, and if you like it. Please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends and family. Thank you. Cheers.